Our second speaker is Michael Craig, whose title for the three-minute thesis competition is Keeping the Lights On, Power Systems, Water, and Climate Change. Welcome, Michael. I'd like to begin my presentation by pointing out something that I think a lot of people overlook every day, and that's electricity. I mean, it's absolutely incredible that when you walk into a room every second of every day and you flip on that and you flip that switch, electricity is there to meet that demand. And when you wake up in the morning, you turn your coffee pot on, it's ready to make that coffee. And you can imagine what the world would be like without coffee. It would be like absolute anarchy in the streets. And so what we call that in our system world is our system reliability. That when you need that electricity, it's there to provide it. And that's the focus of my research. Specifically, I work on power system reliability under climate change and under water impacts of climate change. So to get to that point, I'm going to walk you through two lines of background research, the first of which begins with this picture behind me. So this is Three Mile Island, a nuclear power plant in central Pennsylvania. And, it's, and you'll notice that it's located on the mighty Susquehanna River. And that's because that power plant needs water for cooling. If that river ran dry tomorrow, that power plant would not be able to generate power. And in fact, that's true for all thermal power plants, which includes coal, gas, and nuclear plants. And those plants together produce over 90% of the electricity in the United States. And so without those plants, we don't have power system reliability. And that means that without that water, we don't have power system reliability. And in fact, we've already seen water constraints on the power system causing blackouts and brownouts. In the southeast, which is where I work, a few summers ago, there were too low water levels, and that caused rippling blackouts and brownouts in the area. And yet this problem is going to get even worse in the climate change. Because not only does climate change make things warmer, but across much of the United States, including in the southeast, it decreases precipitation, and it increases the severity and frequency of droughts. So you're probably thinking climate change, tons of people work on that. Power systems also a pretty big field of research. So how have people not answered this problem already? Why is this not full of researchers? Well, there has been work done in this area, but the work that's been done so far has been on the plant level. So people have taken, you know, drawn a ring around a plant and used an engineering model, and they've either selected one plant or 10 plants or even 100 plants, and they've asked how does climate change affect generation from those plants? But the power system is a system, and what we really care about is how that system operates as a whole. And what determines power system liability is how the system operates. And that's where my research comes in. I'll be the first to apply a power system model, called the unique minimum model, to the question of power system liability under climate change. That model tells me over 100 or 1,000 or 10,000 plants in a fleet how many power plants generate when on an hourly basis. And we're working with a team of climatologists and hydrologists at the University of Washington. And so they'll be able to provide us with water and temperature data. And combined with my operational data and with their climate and water data, I'll be able to de determine whether there are certain areas or certain time periods in which you might have water sources that reduce power system reliability. And this is more than just an academic matter, because planners really care about this issue. We're talking about big infrastructure decisions that take 10, 20, 30, 40 years to build. And so planners need to start planning now for the future 40 years from now under climate change. And so our research will be able to help them, help guide them to siting plants as well as to choosing certain fuel types and regions. Thank you very much.